to be super long, so brace yourselves, might want to get a snack, and let's get started. So today I am filming a super exciting video, and today's video, you already know probably because of the title, is going to be of my camera collection. So a couple videos ago, I asked you guys if you'd want to see a camera collection video, and a couple of you guys said that you would love to see one, so here we are. Let's get her started. So I'm going to start off with the kind of smaller ones first and then we'll go into like some bigger, more interesting ones. So today, the first one I'm going to be showing you guys is my vlogging camera actually. So this is the Canon, I don't know if it's pronounced L or ELPH, 330. It's just black. I don't know if there's batteries in it. Oh look, it does turn on. Um, the battery's about to die. But yeah, it's super thin and I don't really use this for picture taking. I actually just basically use this for vlogging and for video and stuff like that. It's basically my designated travel camera, kind of vlogging camera type deal. And yeah, I quite like it. It's perfect, it's small, it fits in, I got this little case with it, it fits in my bag. And yep, yeah, I vlog on it, so if you want to see what the video footage looks like, you can just check out my vlogmases and other vlog videos. I have a vlog playlist at the bottom of my channel, so you can check that out if you want to see what the video quality looks like. So the next little camera I'm going to show you guys is my little water camera and if you guys have seen um, some of my videos like the one where we go tubing down a river, me and my friends, I use this camera because obviously I'm not going to use my Canon because that is going to break if it gets wet. But this one is just a little JVC HD waterproof camera. I bought this a couple years ago for Christmas. And it just has like a little touch screen on the back of it and I don't know if you can see me can you see me oh that's so weird okay yeah so that's pretty much that and I really like it I don't really the microphone on it's really it's not that great so I don't use a lot of video like I don't use it for a lot of video um, aside from like you know when I'm at the beach and like when I want to like get it wet and stuff like that but it's actually, it's not actually meant to be like just like a point and shoot camera, it's actually meant to be a video camera so you can basically record forever and it won't like, your recording won't stop because the Canon one, um, this is just a regular digital camera, it's not a video camera one so that will stop like after like 10 minutes or something. Um, but yeah, this is actually like supposed to be a video camera, however there's no flash or anything on it which is why it's not meant for taking pictures and it doesn't work that great in the dark because you can't see a lot. But it is so perfect for like underwater stuff. Did you guys hear my arm just crack there? Um, yeah, it's perfect for like underwater stuff and yeah, I like it and I use it all the time. Okay, so on to camera number three, a more exciting one. I have, I have one of the Fujifilm Instax mini cameras and this one is the Piano Black Instax Mini 50S, and this is the box for it. Um, and this one is a little bit different than the one that everyone has. I would turn it on, but unfortunately there's no batteries in it. But I absolutely love it. Like, I have an obsession with Polaroids, and I have had an obsession with Polaroids before I even had a Polaroid camera. And then once I seen this, I got this a couple years ago, kind of before they became like really, really popular. Like they were just kind of starting to come out with them. Um, and what was I even, where was I even going with that? I don't even know. Um, but I got this one, like, okay, I seen it in the store, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is like a Polaroid camera. And I, I don't really like when people call these Polaroid cameras because technically, this is a Fujifilm. Polaroid is a brand, um, so it's not actually a Polaroid. Um, but yeah, there's, yeah. Um, yeah, I just, when I see this in the store, and I seen that it has the Instamatic like pictures, like instant pictures like the Polaroid has, I was so excited and I went back the next day and I bought it. The picture pops out there and you can like change the brightness and the flash and stuff there. And this one also came with this little lens on it. When the lens pops out, you can put this on it and it's easier to take like close up pictures and stuff like that. It looks really fun. And the pictures that come out of it are these little ones, like the little credit card size one. It just pops out of the top of the camera like this and then develops and yeah I think they're super cute. I love it. I just love it so much. So the next camera I'm going to show you guys, camera number four, is this camera here. It is an Olympus OM-10 
Tim, OM Tim. It's an Olympus OM10 film, 35mm camera. And this actually used to be my dad's when we were little. He used to take pictures of it. I think my mom gave it to him. And he stopped using it for like the longest time because he thought it was broken. Um, and then a couple years ago, I, I didn't even know he had this camera. And then a couple years ago, I found it in one of the closets downstairs. And I was like, what? How was this there? And I never even knew about it. Um, he thought it was broken, but I just basically put new batteries in it and it worked. And it actually, oops, has a flash as well. So it has a flash there as well. And I think I just finished up the roll of film that is in this today. So yeah, there's one of the pictures. It's basically like, it has, the lens that's on it is a 50 millimeter um, 1.8 which is actually almost the same lens as I'm using to film right now. Um, what I'm using to film right now is a Canon 50mm 1.4, so it does get like the nice, like, I can never say this word right, bokeh, bokeh, bokeh. I don't know how to say that word, but yeah, in the background, there's my doggy. Another one of my feet. So camera number five is actually one that I really don't know a whole lot about. Um, a couple months ago, my aunt just came over and, well, she called me and she was like, yeah, um, my uncle was cleaning out well, she said that they found um, this camera while they were cleaning out the garage or something and they they were going to throw it away, but then they decided not to because they thought maybe me, or, me and my sister would like it. Um, so it was a little bit dirty. I haven't had a chance to use it or anything like that yet. Um, but it is a Ryko and I don't know what model it is. It just says Auto TLS double E. There's two E's there. But yeah, I think it looks really cool and like really professional looking because it's big and chunky and it has like this like case type deal kind of thing but it's actually part of the camera I'm pretty sure I don't know um, but yeah again it is a film camera there's actually a few different lenses in the bag but I'm just gonna show you guys the cameras today I'm not gonna go into heavy detail with the equipment and stuff that I have um, but the lens that is on this one is a 28 millimeter uh, 2.8 I think but yeah, I think it looks really cool and I really want to try taking some pictures with it with the different lenses and stuff. Um, I think it's going to work like very similar to this one. Just this one seems a lot bigger. I'm actually, I don't think it takes the same kind of film, but I'm not 100% sure. If anybody knows anything really about this one, you can let me know in the comments below because I would definitely, definitely appreciate some knowledge about this camera. Again, like I said, I have a Polaroid um, sort of obsession so the next camera is a Polaroid camera this one is kind of dusty oops um, this one is a Polaroid square shooter to land camera and I have not yet got film for this so I don't know if it works um, but doesn't it look so cool like That was weird. Um, but yeah, there's like some little instruction thingies on the back and the pictures that come out of this, they're not like the regular square Polaroid pictures. These ones, um, like they come out of this side, you pull them out and you let them develop and then you have to like peel them apart. And they're a little bit different, but I have not had a chance to use it because I never got filmed for it yet. Cause I'm pretty sure they don't sell it around here. You have to order it online. But even if I never get a chance to use it, I just think it's super cool, super cool looking, just like to put on a shelf to display the collection, you know? I also, I found this one at a thrift store for $15. And I was like, okay, why not? It looks really cool. It looks like old and it's a Polaroid. So I gotta have it. The next one I'm going to show you guys is another Polaroid. And you may have seen this one before because this was my, this is like the Polaroid camera that I use like a lot. Um, this is just a Polaroid 600 um, cool cam, and it is red and black. And I found this at a thrift store, and I got it for a dollar and fifty cents, and I was super pumped. But yeah, when you go like this, you press the side button down, and the flash goes off. And if there was film in it, the picture would come out. And yeah, well, there is a film cartridge in it. That's because it, that's why it turned on. But there's no film left in the cartridge. But yeah, this has been my go-to Polaroid camera since I got it. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Um, it does have like, it's not like completely mint condition. It is a little like scraped and banged. Like there's like a scratch there. I don't know if you can see that. And like 
It looks like there's some scratches over here too. I don't know if you can see that in the glare there. Um, but yeah, it's just, I love it anyways. Camera number, oh, camera number seven, I think. We're on, maybe not, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, it came in this bag. If you guys see my What I Get For Christmas video, you probably recognize this. Um, inside of this bag is a Kodak Colorburst 100 Instant Camera. And I'm really sad because I looked this up and I'm pretty sure you can't buy film for it anymore because of, there was a big lawsuit, so Kodak can't make film anymore and Fujifilm used to make something that would fit, but they don't make that anymore, so I don't think you can get film for this particular one anymore, or I don't think no one, I don't think no one, I don't think anyone, um, makes a film that will fit inside of it, but if they do, definitely let me know in the comments because I looked it up and I couldn't find anything, but maybe one of the newer Fujifilm ones um, will fit in it because this one's wider than the actual regular Polaroid one. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I forgot to show you when I was showing you my Polaroid um, 600, but these are the pictures that come out of the Polaroid 600. They are just square. I have some colorful ones and I have some just the regular white Porter ones. The hole for this one is like wider than that one. So this, the picture that comes out of this is gonna be like a little bit wider than that one. So it's more like rectangle rather than square. I really hope someday there will be film that will work in this because I really, really, really wanna use it. So camera number eight, I think we're on now if I'm counting correctly, but I don't know if I am. It's just back here. This is a, another Polaroid camera. And again, you've probably seen this if you watched my What I Go For Christmas video, but this one is the in the original box. This is just your regular Polaroid 600 LAN camera. And man, oh man, is this ever in good condition? I don't even think anyone's even used it. I can't say that for sure, but it's in a pretty gosh darn good condition. It even still has the, the thing to keep the strap. You know, when you buy something, when you buy like a new camera, the strap has like a plastic part around it, so it's all coiled up. This still has that on there, so yeah. No flash forward or, any, for it, or anything, but yeah, I think it's super cool. It has the little classic Polaroid rainbow there, and I haven't had a chance to use this one yet because I just got it for Christmas and I haven't gotten any film for it yet. Um, but again, this is the kind of picture that is going to come out of it takes the same kind of film as my red and black one. Um, I just haven't had a chance to get film for this one yet, but I think it's so cool and so awesome that it actually still has the box. So um, in my last video, somebody asked me what this colorful thing is back here, and I couldn't reply to their comment because there was no reply button under the comment. So I'm gonna answer you right now. This colorful thing is actually a Polaroid box and you guys know already I'm obsessed with Polaroid cameras. This one is a little bit different though. And this one is a Polaroid Polavision LAN camera, but this is not a, like this is a picture camera. This is a video camera and I'm not sure if it works. It takes this little um, like videotape thing, um, so I don't know if this I don't know if this tape can be used or not because I know it was it did it was looked like it had been used, um, but yeah, this tape actually came in its own little box, which is kind of cool. So that's what the tape looks like. It just goes in like this, and it just takes um, it just takes double A batteries which I do have in there, and you can test you can test your batteries right there. I don't know if you can see that little red light there, but you press the button if the red light comes on, your batteries work. And so far, I've gathered that you do this. Press both these buttons, and it films. And I don't know if it actually has been working or not, because, well, I can't check the tape. It did come with these like little flashlights that goes on top. <laughs> It looks kind of funny with it. It reminds me of like a bug with like eyes or something. Um, but yeah, that's what the flash thingy looks like. 
And the last camera that I have to show you guys is actually the camera that I'm using to film. My favorite camera of all, well not, I wouldn't say, well yeah, I guess it's my favorite camera of all because I use it 24-7. I use it to film all of my YouTube videos. Right there, you can hardly see it. That doesn't look, that doesn't work very well, does it? Um, but yeah, that is my Canon T2i and that is just your, you know, your standard Canon T2i DSLR camera and it has a 30 millimeter f 1.4 lens on it and I use it to film and I love it to death. It has been a great friend of mine for several years now and it was the beginning of, you know, YouTube and collecting cameras and all that fun stuff. So yeah. So that is my camera collection so far guys. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up down there and let me know in the comments below if you know anything about the cameras that I showed you guys or let me know in the comments below what you guys collect. And I will also probably um, do update videos as I get more cameras. Um, I probably won't do it anytime soon. I'll probably do one once I get like a bulk. Oh my gosh, I'm just like burping right now. I'll probably do one when I get like a couple more cameras and yeah, that is it for today, guys, and I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye! Gently press your fingertips into the strings and sing.